welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Gabby D and as you can tell by the title of this video we're gonna be going over hello fresh today my review my experience I have a ton of pictures and videos I want to share with you guys um, from the course of the week making the meals um, really excited to share this video I just wanted to share some different things about the subscription box that you may not have heard before and just again my experience with it so let's just get started first things first the cost um, this was a gift from my husband I'm pretty sure that um, he got like a deal for the first week so just for us personally it's just me and my husband right now so we chose to get three meals a week for two people um, there's a ton of different um, options I believe you can get four meals per week for four people family like more than four I'm pretty sure he basically just paid um, like I think he got like the first week free with the price of the next two I'm not really sure but it comes to be about um, $60 a week for three meals now just to make sure um, before I go any further, definitely make sure you get some kind of deal. I have seen so many advertisements. I get coupons all the time in the mail, in my FabFitFun fun box. They really try to get the word out and they do um, offer a lot of deals and coupons. So if you're thinking about doing this, don't just go right on the website and pay full price for it. Definitely get some kind of deal. I'll actually check to see like if you sign up, like I'll put the link below if you sign up. You might be able to get some kind of deal um, with that. I'm not entirely sure what that deal is, but I will look into it and let you guys know. But I'll put the link down below if you guys want to sign up. Anyway, so uh, I'm just going to share a bunch of things. Um, the first week we had three really amazing meals. Um, so just so you know, there's an app on your phone and you go in the week before and you can totally be surprised or you can go in and pick your meals um i've shared before i don't really like surprises and if i'm paying for something i want to know my meals so um even though mark um, my husband gave this to me as a gift before it was delivered he let me go in and kind of pick what um our meals were going to be so even though it was three you could do like um you could do an add-on if you wanted to do fourth if you see like an extra one you like that week um, but we started off just doing the three and it came on a Monday for the week. We had to make our decisions by the Wednesday before. This is the box that it came in. So as you can see, it's a really big box. Everything comes inside and there is a big like, um, it's not really an ice pack. I, I guess it's dry ice keeping it all together. It's very insulated. Everything is good and sealed up in there. It comes in individual bags. You can see um, here and everything is pre-packaged and ready to go in its own individual bag except for the meats. Um, everything else is in its own bag, sealed and labeled. I will say that before I realized I wanted to do this, um, we got, went ahead and made our first meal and that one ended up being my favorite. It's actually still my reigning champion. I think we've done like three weeks now and it's still my favorite, the first one we ever did. And I got the least amount of footage on that one. I'm not even sure if I did anything, but I'll put that all in. I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, my version of how things came out in comparison to the professional beautiful version because i really wanted you to see how realistic it was and honestly it all like it may not have looked as good even though i think i did a pretty good do job with presentation but it all tasted so good this next one was the garlic herb tortellini it was so good like all of, like, this was probably my second favorite look like that and this was honestly just 
I mean, everything was so delicious. So you might be thinking that $60 a week is a lot, and it is, but it was three, there was a bunch of pros to this. Now, it was three meals that one, we were forced to eat at home, forced to make time to eat at home and cook at home everything at home. Not that we eat out a lot, but with busy schedules, sometimes we find ourselves uh, selves going to Chipotle or Chick-fil-A um, and just getting a lot of that fast food. We do try and pick like healthier fast food options, but cooking at home is always going to be healthier. You know what is going into your food, you know how it's being prepared. Um, it's healthier, it's safer, and um, we really determined to spend more nights having dinner at home as much as we can. Um, and what's also really nice about this is that we try and do it together. Um, I think a lot of the times um, we have this idea in our heads. Like, I know for me, um, I thought I had to cook every single meal and my husband come home and like dinner was on the table and I had to bake like apple pie and just like Megan Trainer said, don't be thinking I'll be home making apple pie. Um, and in the beginning of our marriage, I did really want to do that, but it is a lot of pressure to cook um, a homemade meal for you and your husband every single night. Um, and it just wasn't realistic with our schedules and I'm not really the best cook. So I felt like I was just going to my things that I knew how to make. So we basically had like the same things every week and not that that's bad, but I wasn't really talented enough and didn't take the time to learn um, how to branch out and make new things. Luckily, thank God, I have a very easy to please husband. I could make him like scrambled eggs every night for dinner and he would be fine to be honest, but I really want to be a good wife and I want to enjoy it too. I wouldn't be fine with scrambled eggs every night. So I really wanted to do this um, to add some pizzazz to our dinners. And let me tell you, it's been, it's been so great. And not only is it been tasting delicious, but I'm learning a lot of new things too. And I can keep all of these recipes. So even if I, I decide that I don't want to go back to like doing this one week or they don't have, so they don't have the same things available every week. Maybe I'm really craving this garlic herb tortellini. Like I can basically take this to the grocery store and like just make sure I get all of this stuff and cook it. Cause I have the recipe right here. I know that I like it. I know I can do it. It's easy. Um, and it, that just, that's, that's really exciting to me also. Everything is super simple in here. Like like I said, I am not a good cook. I know my way around the kitchen. Like I can pick things up like fairly easily, but it doesn't come natural to me. I am more of a baker. Um, so these were all like so extremely simple. Um, you have to know some things. I will say like Mark never really had to cook for himself ever in his life so he does not hope he's not listening does not really know his way around the kitchen but uh, he definitely helped me a lot with this but I wouldn't feel comfortable being like here go make dinner um or if I had to do something you know it they they kind of leave some room open for interpretation I guess that's what I'll say Nothing to where it's like, if you don't know how to cook, like you won't be able to do this. Just, just some things like he didn't know like what zesting meant. And he, he, I told him what it meant and he like cut a lime in half and like the inside of it, he tried to like zest and I'm like, no, honey. <laughs> and that's okay. He didn't. He, he doesn't know everything and that's fine, but we are learning together and we do cook together. He does help me. So this is really nice for our marriage also. So anyway, $60 a week, three meals a week. And it does seem like a lot, but I didn't have to buy those meals. So I honestly like didn't even have to go grocery shopping like one or two of the weeks because I had enough in the house for 
breakfasts and we don't normally have a big lunch. We kind of just like eat like veggies or whatever, or leftovers. We don't really even snack either, but everything else we need, like I already kind of had. So it really saved us money in groceries. So you are spending a little bit mo more money. I won't say like they cancel each other out because then if, why wouldn't you do this? But I will say that I do think that it's worth the extra money if you have it. We took a break last week because it was just getting a little bit too expensive to do every single week. I won't, I don't think we'll do it every week. And I was uh, kind of missing it. I was like, oh, I actually have to like think about what to do for dinner. And then I ended up getting really sick and we didn't have dinner for three straight days. So <laughs> it worked out. We did end up getting it again this week. Um, we just had dinner. It was quesadillas. It was super easy. It was delicious. Um, it does tell you like the the prep time 10 minutes total time 30 minutes so like nothing i don't think any of these were more than 15 minute prep time and that's pushing it most of them are like five or ten minutes cheesy beef tostadas crispy parmesan chicken melty monterey jack burger so i just wanted to show you guys real quick um how everything comes so this is what we're making tonight Mangia mozzarella burgers. I am so excited for this. It looks really good. Um, but everything comes pre-packaged. So cheese, mayo, seasoning, everything is packaged. And then like the different um, vegetables and whatever else is pre-packaged. So we'll use all of this and we won't have any waste. Um, it did also come with an onion but i can't eat onions so we gave that away um and then everything has its own little thing this is the buns here it comes in this bag it's very organized everything is put together since we get three meals at a time not everything is all together we have to figure out what goes with what so everything's prepackaged. looks really good and i just want to get started because i'm super hungry <laughs> So tonight we are making cheesy beef tostadas. We're doing this together. I made them on my own past two nights, so we're trying <laughs> trying to teach Mark a thing or two in the kitchen, you know. So we did steps one. Um, we omitted the onions because I have an onion intolerance, so I cannot have them. So we did step one, mixed tomatoes and cilantro, mixed cream cheese with hot sauce, and the tortillas over here, and now we are moving on to the beef. Hey! Browning the beef from step three heat and drizzle olive oil add beef Southwest spice chili powder, so they give you all of the things in bold They give you in little packets like that and Everything is pre-portioned to exactly how much you need and It's really simple they put everything in bold that they have given you so you know as you're going through the only thing I think they didn't give in the past few recipes were olive oil and butter. Doesn't really ready to break up yet. Yes, yeah, so you probably shouldn't have put the seasoning on yet, it's but so okay. <laughs> and we will see how it goes. So it did tell us to 
like stab these with a fork to get the bubbles out, but I guess I didn't do them very well. But I don't mind. I'm sure they still taste wonderful. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. <laughs> Is it good? So good. <laughs> Hello, fresh. Ah. In the process of peppercorn gravy steak. Got some roasted broccoli. We're about to make some garlic ciabatta bread. And the steak is sizzling. Yum. Our last meal of the week. Chicken cheddar fajitas. So again, everything comes pre-packaged. Ready to go. Very clear instructions. Step by step. Very simple. Six steps. So let's do it. Overall, I really think that um, this was just really great. The food was absolutely delicious. We really didn't have any waste. If you have allergies, I know that they accommodate that. They, you fill out a, um, a like profile and things that you're looking for and you know what kind of family you have and all this stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do two meals a week too. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of diff different options. You can really customize it to yourself, but I did really, really enjoy this. Um, we've tried Blue Apron in the past. I like that as well, but I have just felt like these um, meals were a little fresher. The options for the meals were better, and um, yeah, they were just all around just a little bit better. Very, very, very similar, but I, I do think that I prefer HelloFresh over the Blue Apron. I'm kind of a picky eater, I will say. Um, my husband is definitely not, but I really loved that we were able to go in and pick what we wanted. There were certain things that like we saw were just, oh, that just looks so good. And then some things I'm like, I would not eat that. So I do recommend if you're a picky eater, you can get this. Just make sure you go in ahead of time and pick your meals. All right, guys, that's it for this HelloFresh review. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you've tried this before and you really like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and thank you again so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Have a fabulous day. Bye.